How are we going, everyone? Have a look at this weather. Seriously, we've gone back to winter. We got a blast from the ice caps from some nearby mountains and it is blistering cold. It's been blowing a gale for the last couple of days. And it's, it feels like, I had a look at the, uh, the, the, the bomb, the Bureau of Meteorology weather. I don't need to look at it. I can tell you it's pretty much one degrees at the moment. That's what it feels like. Now, we also had those high winds, and I did mention the other day about uh, wildlife bird netting and all types of netting, insect netting, um, even just some um, shade cloth if you're using that around the garden. I've spoken so many times about how to build constructions. You can see this one here. This is our six-way cane connectors, and we're using some cane uh, bamboo here to frame this up. This is as rigid as it, it needs to be. As far as its stability, it's great. But I didn't tell you about how do you keep your bird netting down or your or your insect netting down. So talking about construction is one thing, but I've never thought about telling you how I actually peg it down. And these are what I use, a real simple price, it's a little peg. You can use 10 pegs if you like, with those metal ones, if you've got a heap of those, if you go camping, well you can't go anymore, not for a while. But if you camp in your backyard and you've still got a few left over, they're great as well, because they've got the little lip on top that you can peg down and hold down the netting. But this stuff here, packs of 10, Real simple process, have a look at this. So you've got your netting here. Oh, sweetheart, I know, I know, I know. People are, not gonna, people are gonna start thinking crazy things about us. Go over here, come on, move over there. Go, that way, go, go away. Have a look at that. That's it there, see? You, that's a little handle part that you hold on to. You can tie things together with it if you like. But this is where you peg down the uh, material from. So it sits there like that. So when you're down at the ground level, just go like that and press it down if the soil's not too hard and it's in place. You can press it down as hard as you can. Use a hammer if you need to, if it's a bit stiff and go around and that's what I'm gonna do here. So peg it all down because the high winds will come as they have here and I didn't finish pegging it down the other day and it did blow it off. So all I'm gonna do now is peg it down with this, keep it nice and taut. So, so important, especially over the fruit trees. Peg it down, keep it nice and tight so that even if birds try to get to it, they won't get tangled up in it. And more importantly, do not, do not install your netting. And you've asked me a million of these emails have come through when to install it after the flowers have finished setting fruit. If you've got vegetables, it's going to be difficult like your tomatoes because they're constantly flowering. Those sort of plants, I'd, I'd recommend that you don't cover until late, late in the season once the plants are up five, six foot. Hopefully you don't have any problems with pests like fruit fly. If you do, use uh, the insect traps, how the fruit fly traps that we have. So next time you go to install your bird netting, make sure you get some 10 pegs as well with it. Uh, they're cheap, they're easy to install, packs of 10 available on our website, vasiliesgarden.com. And don't forget our spring sale is running still all the way through till the end of spring up to 70 percent off and some great discounts across the board on a great range of products vasilisgarden.com from me vasili maresi